Tired. Oh my gosh. Apparently tired. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I guess I'm just gonna yawn this whole video. Hello my beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Janelle. And if you are not new here, hi, my name is still Janelle. Thank you so much for being here. So today, I am going to be talking about books that intimidate me. A lot of these, actually all of these are books that I own that intimidate me. I'm scared to read them. I'm going to like stick to just books that I own that intimidate me. Um, if you guys want, I can do a completely separate video on books I don't own that also intimidate me that stop me from buying them. Um, but yeah, but I'm only going to do that one on request. So if you guys want to see that, just let me know in the comments down below. But before we do that, if you are not subscribed already, make sure to go ahead and hit that big red button that says subscribe and also hit the bell right next door so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I upload every Friday and Sunday, so you don't want to miss it. But yeah, oh, also one more thing. Um, when you guys are seeing this, I am actually on vacation. So this was pre-filmed. You're going to notice I'm going to be wearing the exact same outfit in last week's video and in this week's video it's because I'm having to pre-film and I'm double filming in a day and we're just going with the same outfit, okay? Yes, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the books that intimidate me. So first up, I have City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the Mortal Instruments series. Really the whole series intimidates me, but I'm just using book one as a representation for the series instead of holding up the entire thing. Um, but this intimidates me for a lot of reasons. Um, for one, um, it's a new author. New authors always intimidate me. If I haven't read their stuff before, I don't know, it just makes me nervous because I don't know what I am going to be reading. So, that intimidates me. The biggest thing that intimidates me about this series is that I know if I don't like this series, I can't read anything after that or I'll be confused. So this like has a really high expectation to live up to and I don't know why it makes me so nervous but like I don't want to not like the books because I still want to read Clockwork Angel and like the Dark Artifacts and like all of these things and if I don't like this series I can't do any of that. So there's a lot of weight sitting on this one series um, and I also feel like there's a lot of pressure on me to like it so that I can go to the next books. Um, so yeah, this is one that intimidates me. Next up, I have Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. So this intimidates me for a few reasons. Um, for one, it's kind of big. Um, <laughs> big books, I feel like, are always a little scary. Um, but also, this is like sci-fi. And sci-fi, I either love it or I hate it. So this is one of those books that I know that I'm either going to absolutely love it or just not like it. And I want to like it. Like, I just really want to like it. Um, but also, Brandon Sanderson as an author intimidates me because he's written so many different things and I hear his name going around the book community, on booktube, all of that. And people really, really like his work. Um, but I found that some popular books that people like I don't like so it makes me even more nervous to pick up this book because You know people love him and I don't want to be a person that doesn't like him. So <laughs> That's number two. Okay number three third book that intimidates me is Project Hail Mary by Andy. I think that's weird. I think that's how you say it um, But this one intimidates me because once again another sci-fi sci-fi is they're just a little scary okay um but this also gives me some like interstellar vibes like just this itself if you haven't seen interstellar you should watch it it's a really good movie and i think that's why i'm a little bit nervous to read this because i'm scared i'm going to compare the two because to me they're just similar so i'm scared i'm going to compare the two and then i hate this also like when it comes to like sci-fi that kind of thing space really sometimes can like bore me to death um this one i'm hoping won't because i honestly picked it up because it sounded interesting but once again i just don't know because i haven't read it so yeah astronaut space sometimes scares me jonathan my husband loves it he loves space stuff i'm just not that way um so who knows where this book is gonna go i don't i don't know 
Okay, number four, I have Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Neon. So this one intimidates me merely because I cannot grasp the concept in the synopsis. I've read the synopsis multiple times and I like just can't really understand what this book is about, um, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. Sometimes I like to dive into books and not know anything about it, and other times I don't like to do that at all. Um, so yeah, this one, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just really nervous about it. Um, and it's because I can't understand what I'm really getting into. Also, it is a very like popular book, and I'm also scared that I will hate this popular book, so. Yeah, that's another one. Okay, next up I have Legendborn by Tracy Dion. So this one is also very popular in the book community and intimidates me for one because this is a big one as well. Um, it also intimidates me because I've heard that it's not as good as people were expecting it to be, um, which obviously I'm not going off other people's opinions, but when you hear other people's opinions about it, it does make you question like, am I gonna love it? So I am definitely scared to dig into this one because I'm scared that I'm going to have the same thought and just be like kind of like the, the bar was up here and it just didn't quite meet the expectation. Um, but there's not a lot I'm scared of from this book. It's merely that I've just heard that it's not what people thought it was and that just makes it makes me a little bit more nervous to pick it up. Okay. This next one, this is book number one, two, three, four, five, book number six. This one, For Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Trout. So this one intimidates me for a lot of reasons. Um, it's huge. This is over 600 pages. Yeah, that's a big book. And for those of you that watched my June TBR game, know that this is on my TBR for this month. And I'm very nervous about it because... First off, this is an adult fantasy, I believe. And I struggle with adult fantasy sometimes um, because sometimes it just doesn't grasp my attention as well as like a YA fantasy would. Um, so that makes me nervous for it, but I've also heard that this has a really slow start to it. And me, with slow starts, we just don't mix well because anytime there's a slow start, I usually end up DNFing. And, and I do not want to DNF this book because I want to read it and I want to know what this is about and you know the hype around it um, but to hear that a book has a slow start is definitely scary because then you're like well how slow like how far do I have to get into here before like I'm actually interested so yeah there's there's a lot of things that make me nervous about this I'm also scared that I won't finish it because like that's a big book man okay Next up, I have The Institute by Stephen King. So this one I have had for a long time. Like, I'm pretty sure I've had this. I've actually had this for, like, maybe two years. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I've had it that long. Okay, it's been a long time. My mom actually got me this for Christmas, and it was a book that I wanted to read, but I've been so... Tired. Oh my gosh, apparently tired. I've been so scared to get into this one because, first of all, Stephen King. Stephen King is a huge author, like very popular for mysteries and thrillers, and um, I don't know, but that's a little intimidating to read like a really popular author. Um, but this one's also huge. Once again, a lot of these books are going to be huge, and that's partly why they're scary. Um, but this one, I also hear mixed things about. Some people really like it, said it was really good, and some people say that it's not what they were wanting and. It wasn't that great. I'm pretty sure one of you guys, actually, one of my subscribers said, like, basically, good luck with the Institute because I was wanting to read it at one point. And I feel like they were saying that they didn't like it. And I was like, oh, gosh. So it definitely makes me scared um, to read this. There's a lot about this book that scares me. Um, but the biggest thing is that there's so many mixed reviews on it that I don't really know what to expect. Okay, so the next book that I have is Skype by Neil Schutzerman. So this one intimidates me for a few different reasons. Um, one, Jonathan loved it. There's been a few books that Jonathan loves that I don't necessarily like. For instance, Haven Fall by Sarah Holland. He loved it. That book wasn't for me. Then he read Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo and he loved it. I did like it, but it's not one of my favorite books. 
So this I'm a little bit nervous about, but I feel like it's gonna be good, but I'm also scared to read it. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's really it. This one is big, but this one isn't as big. Like this is 400 pages. Like this one is a little bit more doable than like from Blood and Ash. Okay, number nine, we have Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy A. A. Adeyami? I, I don't know. Uh -huh. I, I, I really don't know. Um, but this one does intimidate me for its size. Definitely. It's pretty large. Um, but this one is also really hyped in the book community. And I feel like some of the hyped books in the book community aren't necessarily my taste. So this one I'm a little bit nervous about. I don't know. There's a weird thing that I have with fantasies. Like, I like fantasies, but if it's like cheesy fantasy, then I don't like it. And this I'm scared is gonna have like a cheesy fantasy vibe. I think I think I just made myself nervous. I think I think that's what it is. We're gonna move on to the next book. Okay, next up we have Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. So this one I mentioned in my June TBR game because this is on my TBR for this month and I mentioned how it intimidated me. And I don't know if I went into detail about it in that video. Oh my gosh. This one does intimidate me. This one is also a large book. Sometimes, okay, and here's another thing. Sometimes I really like, like just like a shallow read. You know, like nothing too deep, like contemporary sometimes are just always good because sometimes they don't get too deep. And I just, sometimes I just need that, like a light read, you know? And I have a feeling this is not gonna be a light read at all and light heavy reads. I guess I'm just gonna yawn this whole video. And heavy reads definitely scare me because I'm kind of like the reserved type when it comes to my emotions and the way that I feel about things. I am a, a suppressor. So I like to just suppress, suppress, suppress until it all explodes. Um, it's not healthy. I don't recommend doing that. Um, but reading heavy books makes me suppress things that I don't know would usually speak to me and I would really be able to relate with because I'm a suppressor, I just kind of try to detach myself from things. And I have a feeling this is going to be one of those books that I just really relate with and attach to. Um, and I'm scared of myself detaching from this story and I don't know, making it impersonal to me. So yeah, I don't know if that made any sense, but that is why it intimidates me. That is all of the books that intimidate me. That was 10 books that I own that intimidate me and I'm scared to read them all. We're gonna do it. I'm going to conquer my fears. I'm gonna read them and I'm gonna love them. Yes. But that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I apologize for all of the yawning. I wasn't bored. I'm just tired, I guess. Um, but I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in the next one.